Hi, my name is Pete Smith, and I'm a forester and an arborist for the Arbor Day Foundation. And today we're going to talk about diagnosing pest problems on our landscape trees. August is tree check month in America, and we want to take that time when we're not busy with other maintenance activities for our trees to take a look for any pest problems or disease problems that might exist. One of the first places that we want to look when we're observing our tree are the leaves. How do the leaves look in the month of August? They should be fully formed and, and green. So if there are edges that are brown on the leaves or spots or areas of the leaf that look like they've been eaten away, you could have a pest issue that may or may not need to be addressed. Are all the leaves the right color? If they're not green and they're starting to turn red or, or fall colors in August, that could also be a sign of some tree health issues, including things as simple as overwatering. The next area that we would try to observe in our trees are the, the branches and the trunk of the tree. And there we're gonna look for areas that don't look typical on the tree. They may be an area that's been damaged, perhaps by string trimmers or mowers. There may be holes on the trunk or on some of the larger branches that are evidence of insects that have actually bored into the tree and those adults have now emerged. And that's an evidence of a, an insect problem that you might need to address. And finally, we wanna take a look at the root zone of our tree to see if there are any potential root issues. Can we see the first roots coming away from the trunk of the tree into the ground and the landscape? That's a very important thing. Trees that are planted too deep really can have a lot of other symptoms that show up in the leaves themselves, but the problem to address is actually in the roots. Some insects attack species uh, very specifically. So if you have a pine tree in your landscape that shows evidence of little holes on the trunk and the branches, that could be evidence of some sort of a pine beetle attacking your tree. One of a very lethal pest, something that you might need to address. Similarly, if you've got exit holes from insects on an ash tree, that could be evidence of the emerald ash borer, a very lethal pest. That is determined by where you are in the country right now. So lastly, one of the things we want to observe is not just your, the tree in question. We want to observe the other plants nearby because if the symptom that you're observing is present on multiple specimens of different species, you could be looking at a different problem entirely than an insect or disease. That could be an issue about herbicide damage by the overuse of some of our chemicals in our home landscapes. So once we've determined the location of the problem that we're seeing on our tree, whether it's the leaves or the trunk of the tree or the roots, we need to know a few other things in order to develop any sort of a treatment plan for how we would address the problem or whether it should even be addressed at all. For instance, we might want to know what care that tree's been receiving for its life. We probably need to know how old the tree is or how large it is. And then maybe most importantly, we need to know what species of tree that is because many of our insect and disease pests are attacking trees based on the species that they are. So once you've taken a look at your tree and you've determined that there may be an issue that you would like to have some professional check out, here's some good tips. You should probably contact your county extension agent or your county forester or maybe even your local city forester or office just to see if they can provide some assistance in diagnosing your problem. In order to make their job easier though, make sure that you've taken a few high quality digital pictures of the problem so that you can solve some of that dialogue via email and you may not need to have someone actually come visit your tree. 
make sure the photos are in focus, make sure they identify the problem that you've observed, as well as the entire specimen so that they can determine what species of tree it might be. Well, thanks for watching, and if you have any other questions, let us know.